Hurricane coverage now. This is another live look at the Big Easy tonight. One day after the storm lashed the Louisiana coast, the city of New Orleans and surrounding areas still largely without power. News Nation's Jack Royer from our station WIAT is in New Orleans with a look at how the storm impacted the city. As the sun came up on a battered New Orleans, Ida's destruction became clear. So did the reality for people feeling trapped in the Big Easy with no power and no plan. These girls are in town on a bachelorette trip, trying to get home to Philadelphia. We've now booked five different flights. Everything's booked, canceled. Our 9 a.m. flight tomorrow's canceled. Near the French Quarter, Darnetta Austin came to New Orleans for her birthday, only to have Ida crash the party. I had a very bad birthday. No lights, no water in the hotel, nothing. It just just all chaos, just broke like just broke loose. So. The powerful storm walloped the French Quarter, ripping roofs off buildings and flooding some streets. Widespread power outages now forcing the city to tell people who evacuated, don't come back yet. The city relying on the levee system to keep water out. Facing its first true test since Hurricane Katrina, but they need power for the pumps to get rid of storm water inside, and fearing power restoration could take weeks. Do you have a place to stay tonight? Uh, we're not sure about that. Not, not sure too yet. sure. Nope. A long road ahead to get the Big Easy back to normal. Reporting in New Orleans, I'm Jack Royer.